Hi, this is Eric with Parts Doctor. Today we're going to show you how to remove all the doors on your GE refrigerator. For this repair, disconnect the water and power supply to the refrigerator. Let's start by removing the left door. Before removing the hinge, tape the door in place to prevent it from falling. The door hinge is located beneath the end cap on the top of the refrigerator. Remove the two screws holding the end cap in place using a quarter inch nut driver. Slide the end cap up and out. Then, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove the screw holding the ground wire in place. Next, remove the screw holding the water line retainer in place. Remove the two bolts holding the hinge in place using a 3 8 inch socket. Carefully lift up on the door hinge to remove it from the door. Then, slide the water line and wiring harness through the slot on the hinge. Disconnect the water line on the back of the refrigerator by pressing it on the tab while pulling out on the line. Then, feed the water line through the refrigerator. And remove the tape. Lift the door up and away from the refrigerator and set it on a soft surface of some kind to avoid scratching the steel. The door is heavy, so get help if needed. Now, let's remove the right door. Start by removing the two screws holding the end cap in place using a quarter inch nut driver. Then, slide the end cap up and out. Before removing the hinge, place a piece of tape on the door to hold it in place. Then, using a 3 8 inch socket, remove the two bolts holding the hinge in place. Lift the hinge up and out. Then, remove the tape. Now, lift the door up and away from the refrigerator. Finally, let's remove the freezer door. Start by pulling the upper drawer forward, tilt up and out. Remove the lower drawer by pushing it back slightly, then tilt the front up and out. Then, using a 3 8 inch nut driver, remove these six screws. Tilt the door forward and lift up and out. If you need to purchase a new part for your refrigerator, check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure you are searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you are getting the correct part. To make installing the door easier, insert a small object onto the pinion wheel track to jam the gear so that the slide brackets stay in place. Then align the tabs on the door brackets to the retainers on the slide rails and gently set in place. Reinstall the screws. To install the lower drawer, insert it at an angle, making sure it sits beneath the support glide rail. Then pull the drawer forward so that the tabs align with the retainers on the slide rails. Make sure that the front of the basket is beneath the lip. To install the upper drawer, align the rear guide wheels on the drawer to the top of the support glide rail in the freezer compartment. To install the right door, align it to the hinge, set it in place, and close the door. Place a piece of tape on the door to secure it during the rest of installation. Now, align the hinge to the opening on the door and set it in place. Then, reinstall these two screws. Align the end cap to the hinge, being sure to seat the tab beneath the middle cover assembly. Reinstall the two screws. Then, remove the tape. To install the left door, start by aligning it to the hinge pin. Set in place.
and close the door being sure that the mullion aligns. Tape the door to the refrigerator housing to ensure that it stays in place during installation. Feed the water line back through the hole in the refrigerator housing. Then insert it back into the fitting until it bottoms out. Slide the water line in the wiring harness through the slot on the hinge. Then press into place being sure that the tab on the refrigerator housing aligns with the notch on the hinge. Next, reinstall the two bolts. Reinstall the water line retainer screw and the ground wire screw. Align the end cap to the hinge being sure to seat the tab beneath the middle cover assembly. Finally, reinstall the two screws and remove the tape. And that's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and please consider subscribing.